This video is on input enhancement and string matching. And specifically, we're going to start by looking at horse spools. But also, I'm going to cover Boyer Moore algorithm and also Knuth Morris Pratt. So, recall from chapter three, which was all about brute force, that string matching is finding an occurrence of a given string of M characters. So our string, whoops, the string we're trying to find is called our pattern and it has M characters. And we're trying to look for that string in a text which has n characters. So string matching problem is finding an occurrence of a given string of n characters, the pattern, in a longer string of n characters called the text. So several faster algorithms have been discovered and most of them exploit the input enhancement idea. So we can do a lot better than just the brute force method of comparing and then shifting just by one, comparing shift by one. So the horse bulls algorithm is what we're going to look at first. And horse bulls is a input enhancement algorithm. The algorithm steps for horse bulls is first to make a bad match table. This is also called a shift table. And then um, the second is to compare the pattern to the text starting at the rightmost character in the pattern. So this is actually opposite than what we did in brute force where we start at the leftmost character in the pattern. And then the third step is if there is a mismatch, we move the pattern. We also say the word shift. Shift the pattern forward corresponding to the value in the in the bad match table. I'm just going to write P BMT there. Okay, so I'm going to go through an example of going through the horse bulls algorithm. And so I need to come up with the pattern is going to be tooth. And the text is going to be trust hard tooth brushes. Okay, so step one of the algorithm remember is to create the bad match table. We create the bad match table only by looking at the pattern. We completely ignore the text. So the pattern is the word tooth and we need to pay attention to what the index values are of this pattern. So if this were in a character array, we would have index value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for each character in the pattern. And our pattern length is the same as n, which is equal to 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do 
to create this table is to write each unique letter in the pattern once. And so I have the letter T, I have the letter O, I'm only going to write it once even though it's in the pattern twice, same as T. I'm going to write the letter H. So I wrote each unique letter and then I need to write a star which will represent every single other letter in the alphabet, letter or character that could possibly happen in the text. Okay, now for each letter in the pattern, I'm going to calculate pattern length minus index value minus 1. So pattern length minus index value minus 1. So let's look at the T first. The length is 5 minus index, which is 0, minus 1. So that's going to be 4. So I'm going to write a 4 underneath the T in my bad match table. Now I'm going to move forward one character in the pattern. So I'm looking at the first O. And again, I'm going to take the length minus the index, which is now 1, minus 1. So 5 minus 1 minus 1, that's going to be 3. So I'm going to put a 3 in there for the O. Now I'm going to go to the next character in the pattern, which is another O. Since we are encountering another O, this uh, calculation will replace the previous calculation for O. So it's pattern length 5 minus index value 2 minus 1. So this is going to be a 2. So this is going to replace the 3 that was underneath the O in my bad match table. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the next character in my pattern, which is a T. So this is another repeat. We calculate and we replace what we had in the bad match table. 5 minus the index, which is 3, minus 1, and that's going to get us a 1. So I'm going to replace the 4 that was underneath T with just a 1. Now, the last letter, which of course is T, or I'm sorry, which is H, is either given the pattern length as its value, which would be 5, or if it has already been defined, we keep its existing value. So for example, if this were another O, we would just keep its existing value as O. However, since we have not seen the H, then we're going to have to write down the pattern length. And we only do this with the very last character in the pattern. So the pattern length is going to be 5. Then the star represents every other letter, and it will always be the pattern length, which is 5. So this is our bad match table. I have each character, T, O, H, and then a star, and then the numbers underneath that are 1, 2, 5, 5. So now this is the input enhancement, and we're ready to actually go through the rest of the algorithm. So first, I'm going to pause the video so I can write down the text and the pattern. Okay, I've now written down the text on the first line and the pattern on the second line. And remember, if I scroll up, our second step is to compare the pattern to the text starting at the rightmost character in the pattern. Okay, so the rightmost character in the pattern is the H. And I'm going to compare it with the character directly above it in the text, which is T. And in the algorithm steps, it said if it's a mismatch, we need to look up 
the T from the text in the bad match table. So the T is has the value of one. And so we're going to shift our pattern only by one character. So there is a single shift. Okay, and I'm going to mark um, that we compared that T because I'm going to try to keep up with the number of comparisons. Okay, now we're going to try to match up the H with the H. Okay, so that matches. So we have a match there. And then we're going to go backwards. So then we're going to try to match this T with the T. And that matches. And then we're trying, going to try to match the S with the O. Well, that does not match. Okay, so that means we're going to look up the H in the bad match table because H was the first character in the text for which we compared. So if we look up H in the bad match table, it is a five. So that means we can shift this entire string by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so far I've done four comparisons and we're ready to start again. Again, I'm going to start with the last character in the pattern, which is H, comparing to the text directly above, which is going to be the O. And that is not going to match. We look up the O in the bad match table, which is 2, so we're going to shift by 2. 1, 2. And now we're going to math, try to compare the T and the H, and it doesn't match. So we're going to look up T in the bad match table. That's a 1, so we're only going to shift by 1. And now we're going to be able to match up every single character of the pattern to the text, starting at the end. So H matches, T matches, O matches, O matches, T matches. And so then we have found the pattern in the text. And the number of comparisons was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 comparisons. If we had done this exact same text and pattern using brute force, we would have compared a lot more than that. So let's look at that. Let's see, we would have done, um, let's see, we would have compared T, and then R, and R wouldn't have matched. And then we would have done R, U, S, T, and then O, and O wouldn't have matched, so we would have moved and done H, A, R, D, T, O, O, T, H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If I did that correctly, that's 16 comparisons for the brute force compared with 11 comparisons for this input enhancement algorithm called horse bulls. All right, so now it is your turn. So you are going to follow the algorithm, the horse bulls algorithm, and you are going to demonstrate the algorithm to search for the pattern. Your pattern is going to be garbage. G-A-R-B-A-G-E. -E. And your text is going to be barnacles. Explanation point, space take space out space the space garbage space already explanation point and so what I want you to do is you'll create the bad match table you will 
compare the pattern with the text following the horse bulls algorithm, and I want you to count up how many comparisons did you have to do. And we will um, go over the solution to this during our Zoom meeting. So I'm now showing the algorithm that you could use um, for constructing the bad match or shift table. This algorithm is used both for horse bulls or the next algorithm that I'm going to cover, which is Boyer Moore. And the input is your pattern, because remember the bad match table is based only on the pattern, not on the text. And the output is going to be your bad match table. And so it has a couple of for loops. They are not nested. The for loop is going to put the pattern um, the from i equals 0 to size minus 1. It's going to assign m, which is the pattern size, to table sub i. Basically, it's initializing the to each table element to the pattern size. So in our last, the example that I did, it would set 5 to every single element. Then it's going to have a for loop that will reduce that number based on how many times it um, sees that character in the pattern. So the table sub the pattern sub j is equal to m minus 1 minus j. Okay, where j is equal to 0 to m minus 2. And so that will create the bad match table. Once you have that, we have our algorithm for the actual horse bull matching. The first thing that this algorithm does is generate the shift table. And then we have a couple of nested while loops that will actually do the comparison and the shifting. And k is going to be a constant that keeps track of the number of match characters. I is the integer that's going to be the position of the pattern's right end. And so we initialize I to M minus 1. That's the end of the pattern. And our first while loop is while I is less than or equal to N minus 1. That's the text size minus 1. We set the number of match characters to 0. Then we have while k is less than or equal to m minus 1, and p of m minus 1 minus k is equal to t sub i minus k, we're going to increment k because that means we have found a match. And then um, we have an if statement after that internal while loop if k is equal to m we return i minus m plus 1. That means we have completely matched the pattern to the text. Else, we um, set i equal to i plus table sub t of i. And return negative 1 if we weren't able to match the pattern to the text. Here's the analysis of the horse bull matching algorithm. In worst case time efficiency, the efficiency class is big O of n times m, where n is the text length and m is the pattern. Average case time efficiency, the efficiency class is big O of n, where n is the text length. So this is actually the same efficiency class as brute force string matching algorithm. But horse bulls is going to be faster on average due to being able to move the pattern forward more than just one character at a time in most cases. Okay, that is the end of...